I feel like the media always portrays college students as non-stop partiers who have nothing to worry about. It's always drama, relationships, and alcohol. But especially with the ongoing illness spreading around and school being online, my life is definitely not a movie. However, I've learned to realize to appreciate all of the little things in life that make me the main character of my own story. My life might seem boring, but I'm just focused on my own goals. Welcome to a realistic week in the life of an online university student. I have a really heavy week this week because it's the second last week of school before finals. It's already almost 2 p.m. but I barely didn't do anything this morning. I literally just had class. And now I'm about to get changed and go for a run. One thing that is non-negotiable for me is doing something active every single day. Just extreme. <laughs> oh wait, are you <laughs> So we just finished running 12 kilometers. It was pretty crazy. Yeah. I have not ran that much since like last year. No, same. I feel like it's just truly just a <laughs> trooper, <laughs> trooper vibe. But we're at Tim Hortons now. We got food. Well, I got Starbucks. I got potato wedges and hot mm -hmm. And yeah. of course a donut. Yeah. And I also got a wrap. So we're going to eat food now. Celebrate our ride. Celebrate our ride. This is the best part after running. It's so nice to have friends that have the same goals and interests as you because I can guarantee that if we were not running together, I definitely wouldn't have finished the 12k. Remember that one time you guys came to my house and you guys wanted me to do, do your makeup? Yeah, basically. <laughs> to all Rebecca's viewers. Basically, so I'm brown, she's not. <laughs> so her foundation obviously doesn't match me because I didn't have my foundation there. I was like, unexpected. <laughs> so then I truly just looked like like a ghost. <laughs> I just got home. I'm gonna take a shower and get changed. And I have another class in like 15 minutes. One of the things that I really miss about in-person school is the social aspect. Little things like walking to class with your friends or getting food after class or just seeing people around campus. Nowadays, when all of your friends are in different cities and in their respective hometowns, it's hard to keep in touch. One way we continue to keep in touch and motivate each other is through FaceTiming or going on Zoom while we do our homework together. Okay, everybody go like and subscribe to Rebecca's channel. Um, she forced me to say this, so... Something that you might not notice about university is it's a lot more self-directed and requires a lot more self-motivation than high school. Okay, I'm gonna take off my makeup because it's bothering me. My skin is always something that I've struggled with, but once you realize that everyone uses smoothing filters on Instagram, you'll feel a lot better about yourself. Hi, so it's suddenly 2 a.m. Um, I don't usually stay up this late, but I was kind of in a workflow. So um, I'm going to go to sleep now and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. <laughs> Okay, so I have a feast today. I have this smoothie made with banana and mixed berries and milk. And then also an egg, a piece of naan bread, buttered chicken sauce, congee. Some days it's really difficult to find motivation to get up because every day is kind of the same. But once I started to learn how to look forward to the small things, my perspective on life kind of changed. Small things like making your daily coffee every morning. I need to change out of my um, pajamas, so... I just changed into my workout clothes because after my class, which is literally in two minutes, I'm gonna do some yoga. And I was too lazy to change into normal clothes. Change back to yoga clothes and then change back to normal clothes again, so... Having online classes definitely saves time on the commute. Okay, I have a quiz now. Wish me luck. Done. Okay, I'm gonna go for a walk outside now, but I'm gonna apply sunscreen to make sure I don't get wrinkles or skin cancer. 
I've been really trying to put on a sunscreen every time I go outside. For the entire past year uh, we've been staying at home, I've gotten to a habit of at least going outside for a walk every day, even if I don't do vigorous exercise. Just something about the fresh air is really nice. My family and I often go together with our dog for a daily walk as well. There seems to be a pressure even during quarantine to always be productive, but sometimes we just need a rest. And I don't know about you guys, but every time I take a break, I feel the pressure to be doing something, even though it's totally okay to take breaks. Something that I realize is that self-care isn't selfish. As much as I value hard work, we also have to value taking time for ourselves to recharge and not push ourselves to the breaking point. In the end, all that money, that degree, those grades will mean nothing if you don't have your health. No amount of money can buy health. This is something that I'm still learning and working on. Another branch offered for the pyre. I was just like on a grind tonight, okay? I will fix my sleep schedule starting tomorrow. At least I'm done. Good morning, it's the next day. I have a meeting in about 15 minutes. The thing is, I wanna take a shower, but that's not enough time to take a shower. So I don't know what to do in the 15 minutes before my meeting because I don't wanna do my makeup because I'm gonna take a shower after. Finished, now I can finally go shower. <laughs> One thing that I definitely don't miss about in-person school is the cafeteria. Because we were in dorm rooms, we didn't have kitchens, so we had to eat whatever was there and it was usually unhealthy and greasy food. I am so glad I'm back home with a full kitchen cooking my own food. Not to mention, dorm rooms are so expensive and for what? I'm not gonna lie, I just fell asleep for like 30 minutes. But I'm gonna get ready now, okay? Okay, I got ready and I posted a few TikToks. But this is wearing, um, this is what I'm wearing. This top is from Urban Outfitters and these are just Nike Pros. I'm going to go on a walk outside now. So the weather is really nice today and tomorrow. I've been meaning to buy an SD card for a long time because I keep on using my sister's and she keeps on getting mad at me. So um, right now I'm gonna buy one. But listen, here's the dilemma. The, the one, okay, there's a 128 gigabyte one that's $40, read speed or whatever, I buy the 256 one is only 95 megabytes per second. Also, the 128 gigabyte one has a lot of reviews, and I don't really need like that much space, so I'm just gonna buy this one. Okay, <laughs> add to cart. Mm -hmm. I just answered a lot of emails that I've been putting off for so long. But I'm glad that I did that and we'll have to wait a bit before like my order from Best Buy gets processed. So I'm gonna go eat dinner and then, I mean, I'm gonna go eat lunch and then check if it's ready. If it's not, I'll probably work out and then uh, go pick it up. I 
totally understand the feeling of being so overwhelmed that even little tasks like doing your laundry or taking dirty dishes out of your room feels so overwhelming. But honestly, I just tell myself that I would feel so better having a clean room because a clean environment always declutters my mind. And small tasks like this always provide motivation for me to do the big things. Can you tell I'm tired? <laughs> so I have class in like 20 minutes. Um, I've just been working on this one assignment that I have. I think my goal for today is just to finish this assignment and do some practice questions and uh, work out. That's what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. One thing that I wish I had known earlier in my university career is to not be afraid to ask questions because that's what the TAs are there for. I used to be those people who are like, I don't need any help. I can do everything by myself. But asking for help is actually really useful and it will save you a lot of time. Something that I actually like about online school is that it's way less intimidating to text the teachers or message them over email and Zoom rather than go face them in person during office hours. So I've been asking a lot more questions. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. It's 11. Um, so I'm just gonna get ready for bed and actually sleep at a reasonable time today. Okay, bye. Another day, another coffee. Traveling over the seas, nobody can love me the way that you hit me up. He was just older than me, but that was okay. Okay, I got ready. So this class was literally supposed to start like 15 minutes ago, but we're just all sitting here in silence, which is fine with me. And there's five people in the class when they're supposed to be like a lot more, but I guess it's just because it's the last, second last week of school, so really nobody cares anymore. It can be really difficult to find motivation for the end of the semester after working so hard for the past few months. Except in university, your final exam can be worth literally 50 to 60% of your final grade. So it's really important that we push through these last couple of weeks. That's how much I believe in love. Like when you act up, but I know that you saw. I know you love when I beat it up. Was a savage from an issue. But for you, I'ma turn that shit off. Traveling over the seas. Nobody Okay, I've done my practice questions. This is my outfit today. Well, I'm not gonna wear this outside because it's actually it's 18 degrees okay that's not bad so the top is from urban outfitters and these are from lululemon <laughs> you take these cups out of my room also i broke my glasses so sad i think i'm just going to start editing this video today and then i'm going to go for a hike later on in the afternoon and that's pretty much it my life is actually so boring one because we won't be able to finish the biggest one. Oh, you oh. can't build your no, own no you can but like i want the hawaiian one and oh. firing <laughs> <laughs> your order is what I think life is really about balance, so as much as I like feeling my body with healthy food, I think it's definitely okay to indulge in pizza once in a while. <laughs> so big. Getting takeout and ordering food is also another small thing that I really have learned to appreciate. <laughs> Pineapple belongs on pizza, don't kill me.
after I ate the pizza, I just went to go get gelato and went on a really nice hike. When I got home, I ate dinner and took the dog out for a walk with my family. Hello, it is way later now and I'm back from my hike. It was really nice. I also got gelato after and it tasted so good. And I'm gonna take a shower now and do some editing. That's probably a wrap for today. As with studying, it's really nice to do yoga or work out through Zoom with your friends because you just give each other motivation. These are some friends from my field hockey team, so we like to stay fit together. <laughs> and then I bought a green t-shirt. Hey, that's so cute. Oh, I've seen that one before on Instagram. And then I bought some like pink. It's super confusing. It's all like tie, tie neck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, it's Friday and today has been a really slow day for me. I really don't feel like putting on makeup. All I did this morning was I did some yoga with my friends and kind of caught up with them and, you know, had some coffee and I'm just editing this video right now. And then later on, I'm supposed to get a package, so I'm really excited for that. I'm probably going to go for a run later on as well today, so... I low-key totally forgot to hand my assignment in, but it's due on Monday, but I finished it like a few days ago, so I'm glad I am done. So that is pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on my little week in the life. Be sure to watch my day in the life if you like this video or watch my glow up videos or don't watch anything at all. But thank you so much if you stayed to the end of this.